What is up, guys? So, I was fortunate enough to be granted into the Hitman closed beta. And uh, before I get started with this video, I do want to give a quick shout out to Kristen Elverdam, who is the studio creative director at IO Interactive. Um, I actually sent him a message and I was basically saying, hey, look, I was really interested in playing the beta for Hitman and I was really looking forward to the game. I want to do some videos on it. Do you guys have any extra codes? And he got back to me. Um, basically said, you know, hey, I'll, I'll check with some people to see if you have some codes. And then just a few hours later, he actually sent me a beta code for Hitman. So without him, I actually would have not been able to play the beta and record this footage for you guys and get my impressions out and things like that. But so big shout out to him. Uh, really, really thankful. Love the beta, by the way. I'm going to tell you guys why right now. So I am a new Hitman fan, I guess you can say. Uh, I actually, um, the first Hitman game I played was Hitman Absolution. I know a lot of people say that that was a big departure from the series, Original Roots, and a lot of hardcore Hitman players actually did not enjoy Absolution, but I really loved the game. I thought it was a great game overall, great story, great narrative, you know, with actual some character development in there, uh, with some really colorful cast of characters, mind you. And uh, really great graphics at the time, too. Really impressive graphics. And I liked how the gameplay was really about you choosing how to solve different, you know, your, your, your different situations and things like that. And it really helped, you know, it really allowed you basically to go out there and, um, you know, solve things in different ways and, and try to sneak around. But also make things appear like as accidents and stuff. And that was like the most fun. So I really loved Absolution, and uh, it was still to this day, it's a great game in my opinion, but I know a lot of hardcore people thought it was a big departure. So now we're getting a reboot of the franchise, and uh, it is an episodic game this time around, so we're basically going to have um, different levels of the game and different, I guess, sections being handed down to us over the course of a few months, which I think actually has potential to be really, um, really cool. One of the big things uh, that I realized in this beta and how the format of how it works is that it actually lends itself well to an episodic game style. And uh, the reason I say that is because every single level that you have comes with a set of challenges. And these challenges basically uh, allow you to replay the different levels and solve them in different ways. And in fact, I completely 100%ed the beta and I have footage of, of for you guys being prepared uh, for the rest of this week of me going through all of the levels, doing every single one of the challenges and uh, even doing some perfect silent assassin, um, you know, style, style uh, you know, playthroughs, I guess, of the level where I basically go through, I kill the guy without changing my outfit. I had to sneak through everyone and not get seen. And that was really, really hard. But I realized this as I was playing the beta, I'm like, you know, wow, because it's an episodic game, I can actually go back here and spend significant time in the levels, keep replaying the levels and doing all of the challenges. And it's fun every single time. In fact, I didn't want to put this beta down. I played it for basically two days straight. I put probably a total of over 10 hours in the beta, um, just, just playing through the levels, you know, again and again, finding out different ways to kill my targets and uh, make it appear like an accident or like I wasn't even there and sneaking around people without even them even detecting me. I mean, it's, it's really, really fun. And I, and I absolutely love that about the beta. In fact, it, it just felt so great to be playing like a Hitman game again. I was like, oh, this is awesome. You know, it, it really just really made me happy. And uh, I'm so thankful that I was actually able to get into the beta. Um, and, and, you know, uh, the creative director actually had an extra code. So I was actually really thankful for that. But I just, I'm really looking forward to the game now. And the gameplay of the game was excellent in my opinion. And it really allowed you to basically express yourself or, or kill your target in many different ways. Um, that being said, uh, I do see potential here for actually a strong narrative. So we have a few characters, you know, returning, of course, Agent 47, the protagonist. He's much younger this time around, and uh, he is actually being hired by the uh, the ICA uh, this time around. So it's, it's again, it's, it's, it's a reboot of the series, a prologue for the story. We're, we're getting up to, I, I guess we're going to be you know, crafting a new story, a new path for Agent 47 to follow. Uh, your handler, Diana, is back, and uh, she's kind of, you know, she's not really in charge, really, but she's, you know, kind of, she, she's kind of here, you know, guiding you through the levels, and she's kind of like your, your you know, she's your handler. She's like your friend, basically, throughout this uh, this journey. 
And so the beta had two levels, it had a training level. Basically the whole beta was really training uh, there. It was basically like a prologue to the main game where they were training Agent 47 in different situations to see if he was um, worthy of becoming a hitman for the company. And so uh, these two, you know, these two training situations provided like a realistic uh, situation in which you would have to sneak around and do things like that. Um, and it really just, it, the level design here is just exceptional. And even though everything was made out of cardboard and it's very make, you know, it's very make believe pretend, you know, it's like, okay, I gotta pretend like I'm on a boat or I have to pretend like I'm in some, some hangar facility, you know, and things like that. I mean, it, it really, you could really see how great the level design was. And, uh, you know, it being a stealth game, all stealth games have fantastic level design. I mean, they're required to have fantastic level design. Without it, you know, you really um, have a failed stealth formula. And I just love the level design this time around, really allowing you to, you know, find different paths in different ways uh, to, to get to your target without disturbing anyone, different ways to sneak around and things like that. And when you find out new paths, it's really exciting. It's really... Um, uh, just, just, just really, it's really, it's a really awesome feeling. I I guess you can say, you know, it's like, oh, wow, I didn't see this one before. And this is like the perfect way and it leads you right to where you need to be. And it's just awesome. So, uh, another thing I want to touch upon is the graphics. Uh, this is still the Glacier engine. It's an upgrade to the Glacier engine and, uh, it being its first next gen game. I mean, wow, the graphics are fantastic. I mean, I, I put up my 4k video of you guys and that was max settings. Uh, at this point in time, the game does not have SLI support. So I'm hoping, I am hoping uh, that we get SLI support for the main game. Uh, cause that being said, I can use my other 980 Ti here and, uh, the game already runs pretty well with one card, especially at 1440p. Um, you're going to get a smooth 60 frames per second, no matter what. Um, but you know, at 4k with one card, you're stuck at like 30 frames per second max settings. And the frame rate does dip to the low twenties when there's like a lot of people in the scene, a lot of crowds and things like that. So I'm really hoping that we get some SLI support for the game. And it turns out to be, you know, really well. I mean, keep in mind, it's the beta. So it's a beta code and uh, hopefully, you know, like, uh, like, like dice did with battlefront, they'll keep improving the game and, uh, you know, adding SLI support and make it a really optimized PC experience. And also, there's some frame rate issues on, on PS4, I heard, so they need to iron that out as well. But the overall game looks fantastic, to be completely honest. I mean, really, really highly detailed character models, especially Agent 47 himself. I mean, you can just see, like, reflections in his eyes and things like that. And it looks really, 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 really cool. But the lighting in particular is just really impressive. And uh, you have these like great bloom effects and how it bounces off certain objects and things like that. Just, just really, really impressive lighting. Um, the big thing here, of course, is the gameplay. And uh, as I touched upon already, it's just fantastic. It's, it's a great, it's a great, great, great game. And I honestly can't wait until this game comes out. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, just playing the two training levels in the beta was just really, really fun. And I really enjoyed myself. So unfortunately, the beta ends this weekend. Um, I, got, I basically did everything I could in the beta, so I don't really feel any regrets. It's just sad. It's just sad to actually see this game go because I've had so much fun to, uh, so much fun with the game, and uh, I'm looking forward to when it comes out. And so, you know, I can get the game and really play it and, you know, really, really, I guess, sneak around in more realistic um, areas and things like that with, like, tons of people and uh, great buildings and different ways to... to kill your targets and things like that so it's going to be really really awesome but overall i have to say that i actually really really love the hitman beta it was fantastic again huge huge shout out to uh christian elverdam who's again the creative director at io interactive without him i wouldn't have had access to the beta so thank you a lot christian for giving me this code i really appreciate it and uh Looking forward to when the game comes out. I'll be doing videos when the game comes out and maybe even a playthrough since it's an, it's an episodic game. So maybe even do that. So have a good one, guys. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you thought of the beta if you played it. And uh, I'll talk with you all later. Thanks.